Navy practice test. Here we are going to combine this logarithmic expression 2 plus 2 log x minus 3 over 2 log y. Let's do it. First, in order to combine this expression, all the terms should have log, but the first one doesn't, right? And also, we only have log. We need to know what base we are working with. So right here, let me just write down the notes that we need along the way. First, let's talk about when we just have log right here, what's the base? Here, it's not because we forgot a number, because this right here means we have log base 10, right? So there's like a unwritten 10 here and here. All right, so that takes care of that. And then, as I was mentioning, this 2 is 9 in terms of log, right? So what can we do? Here we can use the log property. Check this out. If today we have log with some base, let's say little b right here, and if the input is the same base right here and raised to some power that's the x. In this case, you can actually just get the x back. And the reason that this works is because log base b is the inverse operation of the exponential b to the x. So they cancel and just get the x back. So if we go back right here and see that we have the 2 right here, which is the ending result, 2 right here. We can put this back here and then just introduce log base 10 and then also inside 10. So this first part becomes we have log base 10 of 10 to the second power, just like that. Again, right here, log base 10, you don't have to write down the 10. This right here should be understood that it's log base 10. So let me just put it like that. So inside we have log of 10 to the second power. And that's the tricky part because we are doing this backwards. Now, next, we have this expression, 2 times log x. We have a 2 in front. So what can we do in this case? Here, sometimes if we have a number in front of the log, n times log base b, let's say an expression inside capital A. What we can do is, we can actually bring this number inside and make that into the exponent. So we get log base b of a raised to the nth power. So if you take a look right here, we can actually bring this 2 to the exponent here. So for the second term, we will have plus log and then x and then raised to the second power, just like that. And of course, for the third term, we have minus 3 over 2 log y. We can also bring this number to here. And you might be wondering, do we bring a negative? Well, it's up to you. I will recommend you not. Just bring this number to here, and we'll take care of the negative later on. So this negative stays, and then we have log, and then inside here is y raised to the 3 over 2 power, just like that. So that's the first step. Now, as you can see, we have just log, 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 right? And technically, there's a 1 in front of the logs. So that means we're ready to go. When we add two log expressions, and when they have the same base, we can do the following. Log base b of the first expression. If today you're adding this with log with the same base b, and let's say we have a second expression. When we add the two logs, just go ahead and multiply the insides together inside of one log. So this becomes log base b of a times b. Right? So it kind of it should kind of remind you that you associate addition with multiplication from the exponents. So again, it's because log and exponents they are inverse of each other, so you say like, huh, similar. Let's use this for the first two terms. Here, log and log we're adding, so we get log. The base is 10. And then here we have 10 squared. What's 10 squared? We can work that out. It's just 10 times 10. So that is 100 from there. And then for the x squared, let's just multiply with that. Yeah. And then let's write down minus log of y to the 3 over 2. 
Okay, finally, we see that this right here is a subtraction. So, the last one I will put on the board for you is when we have log base b of a, and we're subtracting. So, what do you think what we'll do? If you say divide, yes. In this case, you just go ahead, have one log with the same base b, and the inside becomes the first divided by the second. So A divided by B. Therefore, combining this and that, we'll just have one logarithm of this thing, which is 100x squared, and then over the second expression, which is y to the 3 over 2 power, like that. And that's the answer in this fractional power form, so we are done. Sometimes you might have to write this as a square root form, and in that case, I will also remind you if you ever have to do this. Then perhaps I'll just make a little note on the side here. If today you have to do b raised to the m over n's power as the radical form, this right here becomes the nth root, and then you put b to the m inside. So inside here, you might you know, be asked to write it like this. So you will have the y to the 3 over 2, and that is the square root, right? The 2 becomes a square root, but guess what? When you have the 2 right here, you don't need to write the 2. It's just like this. When you have the log, it means log base 10. When you have the square root, it means that there's a 2. And then the inside is y to the third power. That's it.